The video you're about to watch is a review of the System76 Pangolin laptop, which I purchased in 2023. Some of the footage is a little older than I would like. It was initially produced for a website that decided it didn't want to use the video. Uh, however, you know, it's a really good laptop and you deserve to know about it. So that's what's coming up now. Thinking about ditching Windows or Mac and diving into the world of Linux? Then you've likely stumbled upon System76, a company known for its high quality open source hardware and software. Today, I'm taking a closer look at one of their most popular offerings, the System76 Pangolin. Now, I was given this to review uh, a few months ago, and I liked it so much, I bought one for myself. This is a seriously good laptop. I'm going to show you why. Now, Linux has come a long way from its early days as a technical niche OS. Today, it's a powerful and user-friendly alternative to Windows and Mac, offering excellent performance, stability, and security. Plus, it's open source, meaning it's free and customizable. Founded in 2005, System76 is a passionate advocate for open source and right to repair. They've built a strong reputation for their reliable and stylish laptops and desktops, many of which come preloaded with their own Ubuntu based operating system, Pop OS. The Pangolin packs a punch for its size. It features a powerful AMD Ryzen 7 6800U processor. 32 gigabytes of RAM, upgradable to 64 gigabytes, and a choice of storage options, up to 16 terabytes. The 15.6 inch 1920 by 1080p display is bright and crisp, with a matte finish comfortable for viewing. And at just £3.95, it's surprisingly lightweight for such a powerful machine. The Pangolin has all the ports you need to stay connected, including USB-A, USB-C, HDMI, Ethernet, and an SD card reader. There's even a kill switch for the webcam and mic, giving you peace of mind when you're online. Despite its powerful specs, the Pangolin boasts impressive battery life. Now, one of the really important things about the Pangolin is the fact that I can take it pretty much anywhere I want to go with it. I've used it on aircraft, I've used it on trains, I've used it sitting in the passenger seat of my own car whilst we're in a car park. I use it in cafes, I use it at my parents house if I'm popping around there and there's no one in. Uh, I can use it absolutely anywhere and I, nine times out of ten I don't need to worry about the battery level because everything is just fine. It's such a good laptop. I, I don't know if it's, if it's possible to love a laptop, but if it is, I love the System76 Pangolin. Now, back to the rest of the review. The Pangolin comes preloaded with Pop OS, a user-friendly and customizable operating system that's perfectly optimized for System76 hardware. I found the keyboard and touchpad to be particularly responsive and enjoyable to use, making it a pleasure to work on. However, the touchpad does have some issues under Ubuntu. From time to time, it will seem not just unresponsive, but as if it's been disabled. Now, restarting can help this, but often it attracts what I call sort of ghost effects. Dust or other debris can cause phantom activity on the touchpad. When this happens, the best option is to switch to a mouse or to give the touchpad a good clean and restart and hope for the best. Usually that works out well. I ran a variety of benchmarks to test the Pangolin's performance and it came out on top in almost every category. It handled everything I threw at it, from video editing and audio work to gaming and web browsing. Now, with that in mind, there are some shortcomings, as you can probably guess, to using a laptop 
for any sort of media editing or the modern browser experience of having multiple windows and dozens of tabs open, it will use the battery faster. If you're going to use the laptop in a fully portable mode, then ensure that you've got the power settings set correctly and that you keep stuff saved regularly, just in case. Overall, the System76 Pangolin is a fantastic laptop for anyone looking for a powerful and versatile Linux machine. It's well built, it's stylish, and it's packed with features. It's not the cheapest option on the market, but it's certainly worth the investment if you're looking for a high-quality Linux laptop that can handle anything you throw at it. Just go through some of the highlights here. You've got the AMD Ryzen 7 processor and 32 gigabytes of RAM. You've got up to seven hours of battery, a 15.6 inch display. It's lightweight, it's portable, there's plenty of ports, and it has privacy focused features like the webcam and microphone kill switch. Pop OS is pre installed, but you can easily switch that. As I say, I use Ubuntu. And it delivers excellent performance for everyday tasks, even gaming. There's very few instances of me waiting around to get results from this laptop. When that happens, it's usually an internet issue rather than a laptop issue. If you're in the market for a new laptop and are considering Linux, the System76 Pangolin is definitely worth checking out. It is a literal game changer for Linux users and could even replace your current computer whether it's Windows or Mac. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech reviews. And be sure to check out the System76 website to learn more about their range of Linux laptops and desktops. Thanks for watching.